Hi, my name is Vincent de Rosier. I'm an environment artist specializing in texturing. I've been working in the video game industry at Ubisoft since eight years now. And I came here in Canada to work four years ago on Assassin's Creed Syndicate for Honor and lately Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Hello, my name is uh, Pierre Flo, technical artist at Ubisoft Quebec. I've been working in the video game industry for 14 years and I've been using Substance for the last five years. On Assassin's Creed Odyssey, we worked with Art the Ocean to really improve the quality of the game. We added uh, stylization in our texture work and we also added new tools for texture artists and revamped our texturing workflow. One of the main specificity of the project was the Substance Pipeline. That was the first time we implemented and integrated um, Substance Painter and Substance Designer using both of those software combined to create the AAA game at this scale in Ubisoft. With that specific pipeline we had on the Sunscreen Odyssey, we were able with a small team of textural artists to make the productivity rise, creating 1500 material just to be able to make the world of ancient Greece back to life. Then with all the time we won, we were able to push and to iterate a lot on our material to make the quality rise as well. We added a PBR library with 150 materials created in Substance Designer, specially designed to meet our needs in terms of tech and art, like with uh, strong saturated colors, dynamic shapes, and uh, life-life feeling materials. We also added iconic materials of the ancient Greece, like uh, marbles, painting for the fresco, and uh, copper and brass. Usually, uh, people use Substance Painter to create a character or props asset and then use Substance Designer only for environment materials. So what made our pipeline or workflow very original was that we use both of the software combined to create assets. For example, for raw stones, we create first our sculpt and our big or medium shapes in a Designer and then move into the Substance Painter to build the material Pierre was talking about. So it really helped us to rise the quality and have a lot of consistency as well. As a technical artist, I helped the team by supporting the texturing workflow. I also added some new tools, materials and templates, like for example, some new tools to generate some masks quickly or some tools to tweak the albedo, just change the color and it really helped the artist to feel at home. Pierre and I, we use Substance Designer since many years now. So at the beginning of the production, we were quickly able to create a lot of demo, share some, some tricks and show people how designer or painter was working. Afterward, when the pipeline was in place, we just told people, okay, here is the kind of quality and efficiency we want in terms of iteration and retakes. Uh, you can do it the way you want, but uh, here is the pipeline. At the end, everyone use it. So it's really mean for us that it's working. At the beginning of the production, uh, we create a big world called the PBR Showroom where everyone placed their assets. So the idea was to be able to keep track on the work of everyone on every mandate. At the same time, to challenge uh, everyone in the team and be challenged by their work. So it really helped us to have a lot of consistency in our visual, to share some tricks and tips, and at the same time, uh, to be able to have a very big visual consistency between our assets. We synchronized the rendering of Substance with our engine by adding custom shaders and HDR maps extracted from the game. We also added some debug tools to help artists feel uh, more confident about their work. 
for me, the essential quality of an ethics artist or an artist in general are first of all to be able to receive feedback and to give constructive feedback as well. And on the other hand, to be humble, patient with the other member of the teams uh, because at the end, it's all about teamwork. Your project will be just as awesome as your team is. So you have to be able to interact with people in constructive ways. As a texture artist, you really need to take the time to gather some good reference. Like this, you will greatly improve your work and you will learn a lot in the process. And also, always be interested in different fields of expertise, like shadow creation or lighting scenarios, will help you a lot in your daily work. If you liked what you saw in the video, go check it in the game. Oh yeah!